गुड मॉर्निंग जय श्री माता जी लेट अस बाद आन टू श्री माता जी एंड टेक आवर बांधा Today is the fifth day of Navaratri, and Navaratri is the time. when the devi the great goddess the mother of the universe incarnate to defeat the demons within and without people so first of all we will worship shri ganesha in our muladhara chakra with said shri ganesha mantra om twame pasakshat shri ganesha sakshat shri adi shakti mata ji श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नम विनिर्मल गणेशा ओम वामे वा साक्षात श्री निर्मल गणेशा साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नमः We put our attention 
on the right side of Muladhara. Shri Kartikeya. Om Dwameva Sakshat. Shri Kartikeya Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devi, Namo Namaha. Another name of Shri Kartikeya is Skanda Mata. Om Tvameva Sakshat. Shri Skanda Mata Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mata Ji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Mother, please, Shri Kartikeya, please, destroy all negativity within me. We let our attention be free of thoughts in the Sahasrara above the mind in silence. We can hear the music from above the mind.
On the fifth day of Navaratri, we are used to offer the Argala Stotram, which relates to the to the exploits, to the the actions of the Devi against the evil. So we keep our attention in silence above the mind and we will hear this stotram. And it is recited for the love of Sri Jagadamba, the mother of the universe, as part of the Durga Sapishati. Amen. Salutations to Sri Chandika. Sri Markandeya spoke thus. O Goddess Jayanti, who wins everyone. Mangala, who gives salvation. Kali, Bhadra Kali, who is benevolent devotees. Kapalini, Durga, Shama, who tolerates everyone. Shiva, Dhatri, Swaha and Swadha, Salutations to you. Victory be to you, O Devi Chamunda. Victory be to you, O remover of miseries of all living beings. Victory be to you, O Devi, who is present everywhere. Salutations to you, O Kalaratri, the last night. Salutations to you, O Devi, the killer of the demon Madhu and Ketaba, and the bestower of boons on Sri Brahmadeva. Please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. Salutations to you, O Devi, the killer of Mahishasura, and giver of happiness to your devotees. Please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, the killer of Raktabija, and destroyer of demons Chanda and Munda, Please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, the killer of demon Shumba, Nishumba, and Dumraksha, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, whose lotus feet are worshipped by gods and who gives good fortune, please give us the spiritual personality the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, whose form and character are beyond the mind, who destroys all the enemies, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi Chandika, the destroyer of sufferings, please give those who always humble before you in devotion the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi Chandika, the destroyer of all diseases, please give to the devotees who praise you with devotion the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy their enemies. O Devi Chandika, please give those who always worship you with devotion in this world the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy their enemies. O oh, Devi, please give us good fortune, health, complete happiness, spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O oh, Devi, please destroy those who hate your devotees. Give us strength, the spiritual personality, 
the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, please confer upon us the benevolence, great wealth, the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi Ambika, your lotus feet are rubbed by the gems of the crowns worn by gods and demons. Please bestow upon us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, please make your devotees knowledgeable, glorified and wealthy, and give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, the destroyer of the ego of ferocious demons, O Chandika, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Parameshwari, the Supreme Goddess, having four arms and who is praised by the four-faced one, Sri Brahmadev. Please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi Ambika, who is ever praised with all devotion by Sri Krishna, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Parameshwari, the Supreme Goddess, who is praised by the husband of the daughter of the Himalayas, Shri Shiva, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Parameshwari, who is worshipped with true feelings by the husband of Indrani, Indra, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. O Devi, the destroyer of pride of demons by your strong arms, please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory and destroy our enemies. O Devi Ambika, you enlighten the supreme joy, moksha, of your devotees. Please give us the spiritual personality, the victory, the glory, and destroy our enemies. Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mata Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Namastasyai 
The Devi has many forms, but it's the embodiment of the Shakti. Adi Shakti gives Shakti to all these embodiments. And so there are many goddesses we have at different times. They came on this earth and did all that was necessary for the ascent of people who were seekers. Especially the one we know of, Jagadamba, the Durga. She was trying to protect all the seekers of Truth and to destroy all evil forces. Because without the ascent of human beings, they do not know the Truth. And that's why whatever they try to do is a mental projection. And this mental projection, if it is not substantiated by Truth, by dharma, it declines. In Sanskrit they call it glani. <coughs> when this glani takes place, <coughs> then incarnations are born to solve the problem. <coughs> In all incarnation of the Goddess, <coughs> there have been very much incarnated the satanic forces. They had incarnated and she had to fight them, with them and destroy them. But this destruction was not for the destruction's sake that the evil forces are to be destroyed, but Evil forces always try to put down the seekers, put down the saints, try to har harm them, sometimes even destroy <coughs> All these destructive forces do not come at the same time, normally, at different times. It's easy to handle. But the aim of the Incarnation 
is to save, to protect the people who are seekers because they are the most important people in the realm of spirituality. All others are nothing but dust, good for nothing, useless. If they are not seeking the truth in the eyes of God, they are just useless uh, lives that have come and will be finished. They have no value and they have no dignity, they have no understanding of anything. <coughs> so, in the judgment of the Divine Love, we have two types of people. One who are seekers of truth and the another who are not. They may be good people, they may be nice people, they may be doing lots, lot of good work, social work, this work, missionary work, every sort of work they might do. But if they are not seeking the truth, then they do not come to that category where God has to incarnate. So try to understand the preciousness, the importance of seekers. And that's what you have been seeking. Very few persons, if you take the percentage of seekers, is very, very wee bit. But it's very important because, say, a one little part of gold is much more valuable than bonds of steel. In the same way, a seeker is much more valuable in the growth of spirituality. The whole universe was created, whole <coughs> atmosphere was built, all the evolution took place for what? That human beings should know the truth. But in the modern atmosphere, it's a very big curse, I think the greatest evil than all the shumbani shumbas and all that. The worst of all is materialism, because materialism makes you gross. In your seeking also when you are rising, subtly that materialism catches you. I have been noticing this. When people come to Sahaja Yoga, right, they are going deep into themselves, they are understanding what I am saying, all the inner knowledge <clears throat> they want to know what is called as Atmagyan. Atmagyan means two things, the knowledge about the Spirit and knowledge about yourself. All this they find out and they know what it is. This state is the state for which People have been doing all kinds of things, going to the Himalayas, meditating in the cold without much clothes on them, living in the caves with some fruits. All kinds of tapasyas they would do because the seeking was so deep, so urgent and they could not get out of that force of seeking. But in the modern times, materialism retards that hankering, that dedication. It's maddening for people when they are seekers. I've seen before coming to Sahaja Yoga, People spend a lot of money, go to various places, go to Himalayas, go to Nepal, go to Japan, all over the places they are moving. 
But after coming to Sahaja Yoga, after they have become the spirits, for the growth of your new awareness, the progress is retarded. Also, one should understand that after so much of running about, you find something so precious, so you settle down and you feel very satisfied about it. That part is all right. But what later? Your growth should not stop. And that stops because, because of one of the main reasons is materialism. Because of materialism, you, your faith in yourself is also less. Now, as you have seen that the gods prayed to the goddess and she came and killed all the negative forces. The reason was the earnest desire of the gods compelled her to take regard. Such sincere desire of sin that they could not get sometimes food, even water, and they worked so hard to, for their ascent, which was disturbed by negative forces. So their call was so from the heart, so desperate and genuine and sincere that the Goddess had to take birth on this earth to save them, to protect them, to look after them. But, as it is, we see, once you have reached a destination, you feel now better settled down. Now, what do we settle down with? If after getting Realization you are complete, you are in totality, you are absolutely one with Reality, there's nothing to be done. You become a saint, and a saint does not need any advertisement, does not need anything. His message spreads, people see him and know he is a great saint. So many saints did not even leave their houses. A very common saying in India, your takya you should not leave, that the pillow on which you are resting you should not leave. That was the criteria of a guru. Those <coughs> who have to, see, should come to the gurus and <laughs> climb up at least six, seven miles up and then the Guru doesn't meet anyone. He may slap you, he may hit you, he may drop you from that high mountain. He'll take your test by so many ways. Ultimately, he may select one person to give realization. So this hankering, this desperate effort was all the time there.
Shamataji, we can do Namaskar and take our bandana. Jai Shamataji. <laughs> 